Hey everyone, it's TV Shores. It's July 5th, 2020. It's 2.18 p.m. Uh, that last video that I did, I did last night, somewhere between midnight and 1 a.m. Uh, I was having trouble getting it loaded. It took it forever to load, so it just showed up this morning. Um, I'm hoping that I have um, the problem solved about the loading issue. Um, seems the Lord led me to find a way to get that addressed pretty quickly this morning. And it seems to be doing better. I did a test run and it seems to be doing better. So we're going to proceed here. Okay, in this video, I want to start out by just making mention. The last two videos were about dreams and they do tie in to things we've been discussing. Um, but right now I want to try to get back on track with what we've been talking about, about the two kingdoms coming and the significance of what happened uh, that we can see and know that the birthing of the two kingdoms has been set in motion. So um, before we jump into pointing out where we're going to build off of the May 22nd date and, and i show you how the Lord has brought me to understand some things. I just want to touch on the month of June for a moment. Uh, the Lord hasn't led me to, to do any videos specifically about any um, thing within June, but I think it's worth noting that uh, even though he's not led me to speak on specifics of June, um, we need to note that, let me get my notes over here. Um, there was a lot of things going on in June um, pertaining to signs in the heavens. Uh, on June the 5th, there was a lunar eclipse, which is a red moon. And then on June the 8th, there was a, a conjunction of the moon, Jupiter, and Saturn. And I'm not going to get into discussing any significance of these because I don't feel the Lord's leading me there. We're to stay focused on the kingdom and um, the things on the calendar and, and what he's shown me there. So we see, let's see, the lunar eclipse was on the 5th, well, the 5th and the 6th. And then we had the conjunction of Moon, Jupiter, and Saturn on the 8th. When we get to the 18th of June, excuse me, the 19th of June, there was um, something that was just simply stated as Venus near the crescent moon. And that stood out to me. So when I went and looked a picture of it up, it reminded me very much of the Islamic symbol where you see the, the crescent moon and a star. And I, I thought that was very interesting, especially since the 20th um, with summer solstice and the, and the 19th with this um, event in the heavens that resembles the Islamic symbol, um, followed by the summer solstice, which is the 24 hour period within the year that has the longest uh, hours of darkness within it. And I thought that was very interesting. And then that was followed by a solar eclipse. Um, of course, that wasn't something that I don't think, I remember looking up stuff on it, but I can't remember just where it was visible at. Of course, and then we see the, the 22nd and the 30, or 23rd, um, is listed as new moon days. I, I'm not going to get into talking about this other than note that there's two of them rather than one noted on the calendar, on the Hebrew calendar. Um, then we get to the 25th and we see um, right here it restated. Of course, we got the date here and right here we got it restated. Three Tammuz. Um, but what happened as a sign in the heavens on the 25th is that was 
the first day that the African dust plume made its way and entered into the, the U.S. area, okay? And note that it was the strongest African dust plume in 50 years. Um, when we look a little deeper into this three Tammuz, you learn that uh, it is about the time in Joshua's time when the sun stood still. Uh, it is about when uh, Aaron's rod bloomed. There's several things connected with that. You might want to do a little homework on that. And then when we get to the 27th in June, uh, we have Comet Lehman, or Lemon, however you want to say it. Uh, and I made a note here on my paper, on my notes, about, it just says brightest. So I'm, I can't recall exactly if that was the brightest for the year or for the month. But anyway, as you can see, I just wanted to point these out because we had plenty of signs in the heavens during the month of June. And we know this that the Bible speaks of signs in the heavens in the last days. Uh, I wish that I could get into some of these, but I'm being pressed to, to move on to discussing where we've been headed um, to get back to this 522 and how the Lord showed me we're building off of that date. Now, if you remember in the last few videos, we talked about uh, in 1 Kings chapter 6, where um, May, Ziph, the month of Ziph, was when the building began of the temple, okay? And we, and we talked about how it's not just about um, a physical temple or a church, so to speak, temple, synagogue, however you want to label it. It's about building the kingdom of God. And it's important to re-note that with what I'm about to tell you. Because with the month of Ziph in 1 Kings chapter 6, we see the foundation was laid um, for the temple. We see the building began in the month of Ziph. Uh, also, the last... I don't have it pulled up right now, but the last verse in that chapter says that it took seven years. So this is about the building of the kingdom and the seven years. We know the seven years to represent, um, it's most known to us as the, the tribulation, a time of tribulation period. And this is a period of, in which the Lord is building his kingdom and he's purging. All that is defilement, just as we learned in second Passover when um, Hezekiah uh, brought in the second Passover and they purged the kingdom. They, pur they cleansed the temple. They purged the kingdom of all that was defiling it. Okay. So this is what this tribulation period is all about. And it's about beginning to build the temple and it began. Now, when we say, excuse me, I need to rephrase that. It's beginning to build the kingdom on earth. And the Lord has shown me it that began with 522. Now, I have come to realize we have three, at least three, if the Lord don't show me some more, there may be more, I don't know. Uh, we have three times on the calendar that qualify as a 522. Of course, we have obviously May 22nd where this all began, we have um, July, knowing that it used to be a fifth month. We discussed that in one video, how July was renamed, but it used to be the name that it used to have. It was a fifth month. So then that gives us July 22nd as another 522 date. And then the month of Ab on the Hebrew calendar is the fifth month. And that gives us another 22 date. Uh, Ab as the fifth month, of course, um, 2 2, Ab the 22nd. Now, I've not noted anything that the Lord has shown me concerning Ab 22nd, but 
like in the dream that I posted last, uh, Av was pointed out to me in this dream. So obviously there's some, some significant things about the month of Av and maybe some things that have not been brought to light yet. But heaven spoke about June and pointed out all the heavenly signs that um, have been in the month of June. I think it was important to note that. Um, we're going to move on to getting back to building off of this May 2 2 date. Now, as I was just saying, scripture tells us that the month of Ziph, which is May, is when the building began. Okay, the foundation was laid. Um, I feel the Lord has shown me it was May 22nd. Um, he had given me the phrase over by a period of May 22nd. And that makes even more sense now, understanding that there are at least three five two twos and they're all right here together may 22nd then we have july 22nd and we have of 22nd and uh so him saying over by a period of may 22nd which we obviously see it on the calendar as a five two two fifth month uh, showing that there are periods of May 22nd of the 522. Um, and, you know, I'm not fully understanding exactly the significance of each at, at this moment. Now, of 22nd, I've not seen anything. The Lord has shown me some things about July 22nd. And, of course, we know what he's shown me with the May 22nd. And that's what I want to hit back on at the moment. Now, if we go back to this May 22nd, we know it was connected with the second Passover. And we learned from that this is all about spiritual growth um, and about what occurred, what I mentioned just a few moments ago, about removing what defiles the land. Um, in 1 Kings 6, we see that the building began in Ziph, and it went for seven years. So this is about the seven-year period that it, it takes to... get the kingdom built up okay and, and that's all about the first fruits coming as that light of the lord into the world and it just expanding from there as the harvest comes in okay because as as it goes out as the light of the lord goes out across the world and brings more in uh it's about building up the kingdom the kingdom of light it grows with the harvest as they come in, okay? Um, so when we look back at the 522 date, the beginning of the building of the kingdom, then I want to first point out that there's three days from, from the 22nd of May to the 25th of May when we see this occurrence that took place with um, George Floyd and what that set in motion concerning the kingdom of darkness, okay? Uh, and how we see that, that all the unrest and the riots and the upheaval is about, <clears throat> excuse me, the kingdom of darkness rising, okay? And it, again, I say, this has nothing to do with race. This is all about spiritually being symbolic as a marker in time for those of us who have eyes to see. So it was in Minneapolis, the Twin City, where the Lord began. Me understanding about the 522 was with Gemini, the twin constellation, and about the rising of the two kingdoms. Um, but when we look at the three-day difference from the 22nd, when the Lord showed me the kingdom age began, to the 25th, you know, I asked the Lord, because I, I thought, wonder why that didn't happen on the 22nd. And as I sought the Lord to understand why there was a three-day difference, this is what I was given. Okay, we 
as Christians, we we recognize the most prominent three days in history as being the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. And through the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, it is through his death and his resurrection by one man, Jesus Christ, that life was brought for many. It's offered to all those that will receive him, okay? But it's about bringing life. It's about the building up. It's, it's that foundation. Remember when we talked about that cornerstone and how that, that was pointing us to understanding that Jesus was the foundation of the building of the kingdom, not just the church per se, but the, he was the foundation of the building of the kingdom. And through his death, that is how that foundation began, okay? Through his death and his resurrection, it, it brought life to the kingdom, to the beginning of the kingdom of the Lord being built, okay? Um, as what was promised in old days, that the kingdom would come. All right, so by, by the death of one, the foundation was laid for the kingdom of light to rise. Do you follow what I'm saying? And so what the Lord showed me is this three days is representative of by the death of one, which is Mr. Floyd. It brings life to the rising of the kingdom of darkness, just as the death by one, Jesus Christ, brought life to the rising of the kingdom of light. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's what the Lord showed me about the significance of this three days difference from the 22nd when the kingdom age um, began to the 25th. It was about it bringing life to the rising of the, the kingdom of darkness. And again, it's another one of those um, things where Satan is playing on what we as Christians know to be the truth of the Lord. Uh, I'm going to cut this off here because I didn't realize this video had gotten so long. And we'll pick up um, with this on the next video. Probably talking about some the six days that I had mentioned a few videos back. Love y'all. Bye-bye.